I have been receiving several messages on how to edit the text effects like the one you saw on the thumbnail. Most people usually use this for short flyers and different kind of flyers. So in today's tutorial, I will be showing you how you can edit it on your smartphone using Photopea and you can make use of it on your flyers. So without wasting much of our time, let's dive into the tutorial. And if you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you will get notified anytime I drop off new videos. Thanks for watching. Let's meet in the video. Yeah, I welcome you guys back once again. So now I'm going to open the text effects folder from my device. Yeah, so this is it. It's going to load, you just have to wait for a little bit of time yeah it's loaded so now we have to edit it here is how you can edit it so we move to where we have this folder hold on i want to turn on the zoom on mouse okay so you select your layer After selecting the layer, you tap here where we have your text here, then you double double click it. Can you see that? Yeah. So now you move to the text tool, then you are going to edit your text. You see it is loading the font. Yes. We just we did not have the font. So let's say I want to use the word genius. You would have been seeing this text effect on flyers. So here is how it is done. So I'm going to select it, then I'm going to change my font. Let's just search for the Bebas font. Okay, this is it. So I'll select it. It is loading. Yeah, it is done. So you just select your, your cursor back. After that, I'm going to adjust it. Yes. Then you move to your file. Then you tap on save smart object so it's also going to load for a little bit of time then can you see smart objects are updated so let's move to our smart object and check out what we have done so here is where you can see the last layer so you are going to tap it so you just have to wait then wow our text effects is ready so let's just zoom it to check it out wow so you know why this text effect is so responsive on smartphone because I have compressed the file to be able to work on smartphone for you guys. So for smartphone designers, you don't need to disturb yourself anymore. So let's say you want to make use of it on flyers. You just select your layer, then you make this invisible. You are going to scroll down. You make it invisible. Then you scroll down. You see this overshadow? This overshadow. You make that also invisible. Because if you make it visible, let me show you what's going to happen. So your background also, you are going to make it invisible. So hold on, let me show you what's going to happen if I make this overshadow visible. So can you see? So we are not going to have the only text. So you have to make the overshadow also invisible. So now you move to your file, then you select um, export as, then you select the PNG. After that, so then you press save. So it's going to bring up an advertisement. Let's just press OK. So after saving it, so that is how you can just import it to your Pixel Lab and make it use of your flyer you want to use it of. So guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Bye bye.